Hi there. Now in this video we are talking about different project types and their different management uh, approaches. And what I'm trying to underline is that there are different types of projects that are done in different contexts. And uh, I would encourage you to think about uh, really uh, uh, the different variations of how projects are managed in a wise manner and how to pick appropriate uh, approaches or methods to manage them. So uh, one single certain uh, method or approach is not necessarily good for uh, even for different certain type of a project because they uh, projects are managed in different contexts and I think that we must be really adaptive uh, of uh, uh, combining uh, the good management practices that fit for that specific project and for that specific context. Okay, uh, to uh, discuss about this uh, issue and uh, delivering you this message, which I just said, I use uh, uh, the goals and methods matrix that was developed uh, one scholar long, long time ago. And I think that this framework, this goals and methods framework is good for discussing with you about this issue. But definitely this framework is not a kind of an analysis framework that you should use by positioning your projects there. Because I think that this is more or less illustrative and this helps you to understand how many different approaches or methods there are. And you must tailor them according to the project and according to the context. Okay, I will explain about uh, the, uh, this, what this framework is. Uh, are project goals well defined? Yes, no. Are project methods well defined? Yes, no. Okay, and as I said, uh, this, uh, was, uh, this framework was de de uh, developed by one uh, my colleague, one of my colleague scholars uh, a long time ago and uh, uh, he, when developing this framework, he argued that uh, uh, here we can find type 1 projects which are engineering projects. It's a kind of a building construction, construction of bridges and so on. There are very well defined methods and uh, also the goals are very exact and uh, well defined. Okay, then uh, when we are looking at uh, this quadrant here, uh, we might argue that there are type 2 projects which uh, he argues that are product development projects. So the goals are uh, well defined. We know what kind of a new product we want to the market, but actually we don't necessarily have very well defined uh, methods to do the project. This is his argument, so not mine. And it should not be your argument either, but this is a good framework uh, to uh, understand and think about uh, this issue about different methods. Okay, uh, then uh, type 3, we have here systems development uh, project and he uh, then uh, when he says systems development he means information systems or IT. And then there are uh, this uh, fourth area, type 4 projects, uh, which is research or organizational development. Methods not well defined, uh, goals not well defined. Research just might bring some uh, surprising uh, outcomes 
as well as organizational development when we are renewing our organizational practices, for example. Okay. Now, uh, I wanted to list uh, methods for each of these uh, areas. And in this next slide, uh, you can see what I listed as project management methods for each of these uh, four areas. And here they are. For example, in this type 2 project uh, category, product development, there are gates and milestones. There uh, is multidisciplinary special, uh, specialist group uh, who is managed or who is managing the project, brainstorming. Then in this type 4, there are, for example, team building, uh, identifying and setting the goals. Even though the goals are not well defined, so that is a kind of a management practice or management method of continuously defining the goals uh, during the project. Okay, and then type three, uh, systems development uh, or IT, IS, there are agile methods, prototyping, uh, changes that may be change management that probably comes from customers, that customers uh, uh, continuously uh, improve the project by, by providing their uh, suggestions for uh, changes. And then of course this type one, uh, the traditional engineering type of a project uh, of building construction or bridge construction or something like that. So uh, there is task activity, scheduling, detail planning, uh, calculating the quantities and tight control and, and so on. Okay, now when you look at this slide, you can see that uh, there is a rich uh, uh, number of uh, project management methods in each of these uh, four areas, if we accept that these are uh, project management approaches or project management methods. Okay, I uh, close this uh, slide presentation and uh, again uh, by talking here uh, with this flipboard, I will emphasize that uh, wasn't this framework saying that there were no well-defined methods in this, for example, in this type 2 and type 4. But when you looked at the slide, so I could list their abundance of uh, different methods. Okay, uh, this guy who developed this framework assumed that uh, the only real, probably he assumed that the only real project management methods are those uh, uh, according to which we typically manage this kind of engineering type of projects, building construction, bridge construction, and, and etc. And then if there are kind of a softer methods, if you like, or, or how, how would you call it, so then uh, uh, they are not kind of accepted as project management methods. But uh, I argue the opposite and I argue that uh, there is a rich uh, number of methods that we can use in these kinds of projects as well. So uh, this, why I used this uh, framework was just to underline you uh, the idea of different projects and different methods. Not, uh, my, my meaning was not to provide you this framework for you as a tool where you would position uh, some project and then uh, think that what kind of methods there would be. Especially, especially for the reason what I now uh, show you in this next uh, flipboard paper. In any or every project, we have different project types and uh, different uh, management methods that we must use. For example, if we think about the regional health warehouse for hospitals, there 
is the construction of the warehouse, which is type one, establishment to run the fair, uh, warehouse, which is type two, logistics, computer systems to operate the warehouse, type three, uh, redeployment, uh, type four, personnel or organizational change, uh, changing the budget from hospital based to regional based type three systems, uh, implementing uh, in all regional hospitals type four organizational change, commissioning the warehouse type two logistics. So um, let's say that one size does not fit all. That is the message. And even though I uh, presented you the uh, goals and methods matrix framework, that was just to discuss you about this uh, variation uh, and, uh, and the need to adapt to each and every project so that the management approach fits. Of course, there are good systematic practices, but we must understand that we must uh, uh, do the shortcuts if needed and uh, implement those management approaches that are good for uh, those projects. Okay, that was uh, the message here and uh, looking forward to uh, talking to you in uh, other videos. Thank you for uh, being with me in this one. Okay, bye.